young guy himself. Bravo, checking in. We're here at 49 West CBD, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Want to stop by real quick and check in with the homie Lauren, one of the managers here at the place. Uh, she's been really advocating and pushing for awareness around some of the bills that's happening in Louisiana that could potentially change legislation. And also, she works here at this cool shop. We're going to check out some products and then hit her up and see what the updates are with the bill. These are salves. They're more of a neutral experience. Like it's not going to cause a warming and cooling sensation. Mm -hmm. um, the 900 is definitely the most popular one. 300 tends to be better for like more minor aches and pains. Few people need the 1800, but they're there. Um, the most popular of all of the options is either the 900 milligram sab or the 900 milligram warming and cooling lotion. Mm -hmm. There is the rolled one as well, but most people enjoy the lotion over that. So Cypress is actually a Louisiana based company. Um, Christy and Blake are the base of it. Christy was actually run over by a drunk driver several times in I think 2011 or 12 and didn't really respond well with medication. Tried hemp products, with life changing. She ended up going to school at LSU for agricultural engineering and then studied under multiple hemp farms, different businesses, extraction processes, and then came up with Cypress Hemp. Yeah. yeah. Florida Leaf is another Louisiana based company. They're out of New Orleans. They make my favorite lip balm and some syrups. These you definitely want to shake uh, because they are a water soluble. They use a powder for it, but they're, these are great. This is 1500 milligrams in the entire jar, 500 milligrams. Definitely more of a syrup. This is something you can add to whatever without oh, altering the taste. Yeah. Um, so if like you wanted to have an infused coffee, you could. Mm -hmm. Or if you went to Sonic and you got yourself a slushy. Make something out of that. Um, everything further down is definitely rich in THC. So THC drinks, THC gummies. Uh, the same company also makes sweet tea and lemonade. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, something you want to shake before using because it does the powder in it. Um, indigo, another already mentioned, but these gummies are really good. My favorite right now are these. They are 20 milligrams of CBD, 10 milligrams of THC, and 50 milligrams of electrolytes per gummy. Uh, my next favorite are these if you want something like good day use, but not overwhelming. Mm -hmm. I'm sensitive, so I literally take like a half and I still feel it. Yeah. But yeah, they're really good, feel good, use it during the day or whenever. You can use it at night if you want. Um, I'm actually familiar with that. I remember them. Yeah, from... Uh, from the yeah, yeah, yeah. They were on the opposite side. Yeah, they had some pretty good gummies. Yes, they do. Yeah. The one-to-one -one ratio is one of our most popular ones. It's mm -hmm. the 25 milligrams THC, 25 milligrams CBD gummy. Um, people enjoy those a lot. Unfortunately, come July, we will not be able to sell those, though. Yeah, so... Yeah. What's the update on, on the... All right. What, is that, so, is that the update? Yeah, yeah, kind of. So in January, Louisiana had passed the eight milligrams per serving thing. Mm -hmm. And then two weeks later, they were like, ah, just kidding. Uh, we actually mean eight milligrams per like, chew. So we have until the end of June to get rid of everything that's more than eight milligrams. Mm -hmm. And that's um, a lot of the stuff down here. Oh, that's everything but two. <laughs> All but two things. Hopefully, Senator Kathy's bill does not go through. It left the floor and that's more than I wanted it to do. Mm -hmm. That bill will kill the industry in Louisiana almost entirely. Yeah. It's uh, two milligrams for an entire package. 
So not even the full spectrum CBD gummies behind you. Like I couldn't sell those. I couldn't sell half the oils because they're over the two milligrams for the entire bottle. Um, lotion that I was pointed out earlier, mm-hmm. won't be able to sell that if that passes. But I'll be able to sell those few things up there and some saps and a few oils and that's literally it. And, and I assume like a lot of businesses wouldn't be able to like pick it from. No, if you're a specialty business like we are and like this is our focus, it's gonna be very damaging. Yeah. If you're a business who just happens to also sell these things and it's not something you specialize in, it's not really something you even sell much of or are educated in, mm-hmm. probably not. Probably won't be a big impact, but for our business, yeah, yeah. it will. Well, we're about to tell I guess people are watching this that at least it you know, doesn't make it pass. I hope not. Yeah. Um, there's a couple more days before, so like I said, I left the floor and I think on the 24th they're going to further discuss it. So there is still time to send out emails, phone calls, yeah. do all of that. So folks should definitely do that and reach out to Please. Your, Please do. Your local officials. Because if they don't think officials. you care, yeah. okay, cool. Let them monopolize the medical marijuana industry in Louisiana because that's the goal ultimately. And if they don't see enough people being like, no, I stand against this, yeah. keep on moving with it. You or Miss Lauren? I am Miss Lauren. Lauren, yeah. So, uh, what's your role here? What's your position? Um, I manage one on one. Gotcha. Yeah. I've been here for about three and a half years. It was an opportunity that I kind of manifested. I get into that, so that's really like how it happened. I just kept putting out there that I really wanted to be in the hemp industry. Like I just knew it. I didn't know why I wanted to be in it, but it was like I have to do it. Here you are, it's just unfolded. Yeah, and I it's love crazy. it. I really do. Well, I want to grab something yeah. here. Uh, yeah. Be, um, looking at like what gummies? So Maybe some gummies. THC ones. Yeah. Some, or, some ones. Um. So we have some that are sativa, indica. Hybrid. Yeah. yeah, so like these are a live resin product. These are the quote unquote sativas, Jack Hair and Maui Wowie. It's THC and CBG, one to one ratio, 20 milligrams each. If you like more of a hybrid experience, you have gelato and skunk. Um, 20 milligrams of THC, 20 milligrams of CBD. And then, probably not what you're going for because you like it all times, but Bubba Kush and Cherry Pie, which are CBD, I mean CBN and THC, Mm -hmm. yeah. So our most popular is definitely back here, and these two. Um, That's gelato. Have you ever used the gelato strain before? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be similar to that for like in gummy form. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Jack hair for a lot of people feels like clear, productive, motivated, like feel good. Uh, Maui Wowie, I have this one. I'm super sensitive to things though, so I should have not used even a fourth. It, uh, it had me a little paranoid, mm-hmm. but the people who love it, they love it. I actually want to try this one. Okay. Yeah. Anything else for you? This is a coffee that we have. It's a CBG coffee. Um, so it's a good, so CBG in general, I'll just start there, is good for, for most people for like day use. CBD for me especially makes me drowsy if I take too much, which is why I prefer CBG because I don't have to worry about that. goodies from 491 CBD Lake Charles, Louisiana. Um, I'll probably check them out a little bit later. We gotta head to the other spot, so appreciate it. Make sure y'all subscribe, like. I never thought I'd be one of those people saying it shit. Subscribe to the channel, man.
you've been asking all these people about your their thoughts on on the bills that are coming out in Luciana, and you haven't given your thoughts. Bullshit. Yeah, I know my thoughts. <laughs> the people don't know. It's bullshit. Like, bro, these are smart people, bro. These people that read. Sometimes they don't, but they. Well, you you got the ability to pass a bill or you know say no, or you got the ability to pass a law, or write the law, or something. You would think motherfucker to be the red that hoe. At least once. Yeah. So for them to be like, oh, we didn't know what was going on. And boozy. Yeah, they basically was like, oh, we didn't know that the THC levels was gonna be so high. Oh, we didn't know, mm. um, you know, that the market, like how, the, how, like basically the market was gonna show up. Because, like you say, when I when I have when I had bought those stuff, when we got the stuff yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, like it was like five, ten, twenty, you know what I'm saying, milligrams THC. That's serious. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. You know, people should have access to that. But I just feel like, you know, it's some type of political bullshit to go back and be like, oh, well, it's too hot. Because now businesses and businesses mm -hmm. are invested in it. Mm -hmm. Like she was saying, like, you know, that's they selling that stuff. So if they don't have, if they can't legally sell it anymore, that's merchandise they didn't invest in. That's the clientele that comes in shops and they get this stuff. Yeah. Now they don't have nowhere to buy it, so they can't, you know, so it just affects a lot of businesses. Yeah, basically yeah. what she was saying, some people will be able to, like, pivot and, you know, all right, we just gonna go this way. But some folks are like, man, we too deep in. They don't do nothing but end up end up creating, like, black market. End up, you know. Yeah. People, cause people gonna do it. People, people gonna do it. And people are gonna sell the products that they have. Right, because people are gonna buy. Yeah. And I'm not saying like legit businesses or, you know, I don't want to say, you know, I'm not the determining factor of who's legit, and who's not, but I'm saying like businesses that are licensed and stuff, they'll, you know, they can't. Mm -hmm. But I don't play. I don't play. <laughs> businesses that's licensed or, and, and are, are still invested in this financially, it, uh, you know, they still gotta figure out a way if they can. Yeah. But then you have other folks that are like say take advantage of and say, well, you know, you can't sell it legally. People still need it. There's still a market for it. All right. So now I ain't gotta deal with it. Mm-hmm. It's a step backwards. It's best to just leave it alone, move forward. We already in the. We already in the. Yeah. You know, like if it passes and it goes all the way through, and it, you know, I think people should sell, you know, what what they can, you know, find a way to get the word out about their products, and and honestly, if if they have the financial ability to, to pivot, you know, they're going to be focused more on lower dosage, mm -hmm. you know, products. And so, like, you know, they're probably going to have to reconfigure how they're approaching, you know, their consumer, because it might change. Mm -hmm. you know, that target audience might change. Um, yeah. So I would say that they need to educate people as much as they can, you know, whether that's through, you know, marketing campaign or some type of, you know, education mm -hmm. campaign to let people know, mm -hmm. you know, about the dosages, about... Yeah. The products that they have and, and what they're gonna do you mm -hmm. know, as, a, as a response. Reinvent themselves. Yeah, yeah. People, you know, the different businesses are gonna be in different positions. So mm -hmm. some might might just need to sell all they can, pay off their debts off, you know, so they can, you know, be good and clear. Uh, you know, and some may need to, to to figure out which product they're gonna reshift re to or uh, refocus to. It just depends. Yeah.